Do work-life balances exist? In this video, I wanna go over if work-life balances exist, how you should think about them, and what that actually means for your life. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. A question that I get all the time is, Austin, you seem to have a work-life balance that is really beneficial to what you want to do. Do work-life balances actually exist? And I do not think they do, and here's the reason why. I think that there's no such thing as silos in anything you do throughout your day. If you're working or if you're living, that is all part of your life. It's not work and life, it's literally just part of your life. So often what people end up trying to do is they try to silo different parts of their life. And when you try to silo different parts of your life, what ends up happening is that you become dissatisfied with a certain silo of your life, creating this separation between work and life, when in reality, all of this is just life. If that sounds like you, and it sounds like you do not want to be in the position where your work and your life are different, but right now you're at a place where your work is not what you want your life to be, well then that leads to the question of one, why are you doing what you're doing? Money is not something that is difficult to make. Yes, I just said that money is not something that's difficult to make. The reality of it is that wealth and uh, all those abundant type mindsets literally do lead to more creation of wealth. So if you want to make money, you can go find a job doing just about anything and make a decent amount of money. But most of us choose work that we don't want to be in our day-to-day -day life. We end up going and doing things that wouldn't actually make us happy if we were able to choose if we could do this for eight hours a day. And that ends up creating this separation between work and life. Now, if that is you, then learning that and just pulling awareness into that out of the gates can be something that totally changes the way that you see work and life. For instance, I was listening to Ram Dass earlier and he was talking about a story of a man who was a financial president at a bank who left, who became a monk, who dove down the path. And then one day, came back to the city he was in and the president of the bank was like, hey, we have your position open. Do you want to do it? And he took it and Ram Dass asked him, well, do you feel like it's cold and you're doing something that you don't want to do anymore? And he said, no, I get to connect with people all day. It's just through the lens of being a financial president of a bank. And so the idea is more that when you become more aware of what you're doing currently, you don't have to be dissatisfied with it, but instead you can use it as a means of growth, just like everything and anything that you do throughout your life as a means of growth. So to bring that back full picture, when you have these parts of your life that you feel are disconnected from the rest of your life, start to just draw awareness to them before you try to change them. Because there is no such thing as separation in life. There is just life and death. And death is a part of life as well. So we're not gonna dive in that today. So I want you to drop below what your life feels like. Is it mainly work? Is it mainly life? Do you get to live the life you want? And what are are some of the ways that I can help you really iron out that work-life uh, balance and create just a life that you want, not a work life and a regular. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in the video soon.